everybody, and welcome to the final football Friday night of September, and welcome to the main event. Jimmy. Tonight we start with two unbeaten. It's easy to pick the game of the week for sure. One scores points in bunches. The other takes offense uh, at giving up uh, touchdowns. All right, Jimmy, let's look into Madison Way, the Miners, Mingo Central, the Skyhawks. Scott. Standing room only for this one on the opening drive. Skyhawks take three plays to score. Matt Fry fakes a handoff, gets across the goal line. Next Scott drive. Preston Cooper told Andrew today he was nervous about the game. Doesn't show it here. Follows his blockers, gets across the goal line. Second quarter, Seahawks show they can do it through the air. Fry throws it to Isaiah Bush along the sidelines. Watch him use his speed to get away, and he's into the end zone. Fry now dropping back again, going deep this time to his right. Hits Braden Clark in stride behind the defense. 76 yards later, it's 29-0. Mingo Central keeps fighting. Dylan Vance takes the handoff, finds a hole, gets into the end zone. 29-14, back in it. But with less than 40 seconds in the half, Fry fakes the handoff, fires deep along the sideline to Clark, makes the grab, and he's going to the house. Skyhawks win 50-20. Andrew Coker with some post-game reaction. Thank you, Keith and Jimmy. Coming into this game, Mingo Central had only surrendered 12 points all season. Scott was able to score more than that in the first seven minutes to triumph in this battle of unbeatens. How does it make you guys feel after a hard week of practice to come out clicking like that? Uh, it feels great. It's something we knew we had to do in order to come out here and beat this team. This is a good team, maybe one of the best teams we'll play all regular season, but we knew to take them serious and have a good week of practice, and we know that feeds into the game. It all starts up front. The line, uh, you know, they came out and was blocking really hard, opening the holes. We got the run game established, uh, was able to pull a couple of their guys down in the box, and then, uh, you know, we took advantage over the top. Now the Scott players can turn their attention to the homecoming dance tomorrow night. Then next week they will try to advance to 7-0 with a trip to Logan. Keith and Jimmy, back to you.